Hello, Orbits. So I wanted to show how I made my light stick run off of rechargeable 18650 laptop cell batteries. It's gonna need, it's gonna need a few things. First of all, you're gonna need laptop batteries. I pulled these out of an old laptop that I had. I basically just pulled out the, uh, the battery at the bottom and just ripped apart all the plastic until I was left with a few of these. I've already went and done the mod, so as I open this up, you're gonna see what I did. But I wanna show you all of the parts that I worked with. Um, pretty much everything you see in front of you here is required in order to do this. So you're gonna need a soldering iron, you're gonna need a multimeter. Um, both of those things on Amazon are dirt cheap. I will put a bunch of links down in the description for uh, what I grabbed on Amazon. But uh, I think I think the, uh, the multimeter ran me maybe 13, 14 bucks. And then I bought a whole soldering kit for less than 20 and it came with literally everything including including wires which is pretty pretty handy so the other thing you're going to need the main thing that's going to drive this is these two pcbs right here these two circuits one of them is called the tp4056 and this acts as the recharging module this is what you actually wire the batteries to and then basically you output it from there into this voltage booster it's going to step it up to 4.5 volts that we need in order to power this so when it comes out of the tp4056 uh, it's only running at 3.7 volts i think but you need it to in order to power the the actual leds in here you need it to be at least 4.5 volts which is mainly the reason why you're going to need a multimeter because this voltage booster has this teeny little screw right here you can see that acts as a uh, as an adjustment so you throw a little screwdriver in there and you turn it up and down and you want to measure your voltage on the multimeter to see what you're getting out at the end of the day what you want to get out of it is 4.5 volts just like what comes out of the three triple a's normally So first thing that's going to need to happen before you even think about any of the electronics aspects of this is assessing the handle, um, how it's built inside. Um, as I open this, you're going to see that I've already got my built one in here. I'm thinking about doing it again because I'm not super happy with the wiring job that I did because I sort of rushed it. But for sake of this video, I'm just going to open this up and show you guys how I did this. So it opens up really easy, just a couple screws and then it should just pop right open because it's really just a series of tabs right here. And this is it. So this is what I was able to come up with. It was a bit of a tight fit, but it was actually kind of perfect because two of these cells and then the length of the, um, the, length of the MT3608 voltage booster circuit here you know it's got some length to it so you end up with pretty much the perfect amount but you'll see I wrapped a lot of this in electrical tape it's one of the problems I was running into is that I was getting connections bumping into each other and causing shorts and then it would never it would never turn on so I needed to try to insulate some of these connections as, as best I could it was still kind of a rush job but this whole piece comes out of here. It's all one thing. I just ended up running wires up the sides of this battery and to directly to the three AAA holder. So I'll, I'll show you which one's the positive and which is the negative. So one of the concerns people had on Facebook when I posted this was they were worried about destroying it on the inside if they were to go and pull the, the internals out. But I'll tell you, these things are super, super rigid. You're really not gonna have any problems with this. Um, basically, in order to get the structure out of here, I just used some wire cutters and I just went, went nuts. This is really, really, really thin plastic. And if you can't get the wire cutters in there, I found it perfectly fine to just go in with my fingers 
And the plastic is so thin, you can literally just bend it over back and forth, back and forth until it snaps out. So you can get most of this out super easily. Um, on this side though, I did decide to leave a little bit of it here, a little bit of structure here. This is actually what the, the boards are gonna sit on, the, the TP4056 specifically. I created a, a little shelf here for this to live on. So you do kind of want to leave that one there. But besides that, you basically want to gut this entire thing, the length of this. So once that's done, I'll set this aside. I'll show you. I'll show you how this whole thing is wired up. I'm not going to take this apart, but I am going to display a, a graphic here to show you exactly how the wires get run. Um, Basically, what you're going to want to do is, if it isn't obvious already, you're going to want to run your battery. If you have two of these batteries, you're going to want them to be in parallel together. You don't want to leave them in series. So what I ended up doing was pushing up their negative ends together right here. So th these are both negative to negative right here. And then positives down here and positives up here. So I ran a cable to connect positive to positive and then negative to negative. I've got that running down here into the TP4056, which get connected right here and here. These are the actual battery charging inputs and outputs. So once you have that connected, you want to you want to check your your uh, your solder jobs because I definitely rushed this a little bit and was really glad that I had the multimeter because I was able to check my connections. Once you get the battery connected, you can start charging it at that point. It has nothing to do with the light stick. We haven't even integrated it yet, but you can you can take a couple of these these uh, eighteen six fifty batteries and connect them directly to this as its own thing and it'll it'll just work it'll it'll keep charging itself um because you can plug a usb right in here so from from there though in order to get it wired over to the battery holder what i did was ran from the outputs that's these on the end here the positive and negative outputs these end up going into the MT3608 in the VIN VIN inputs and inputs here, positive and negative. So once you have those two wired up, you'll be able to start measuring voltage from the output here with your multimeter. And basically, you're going to want to, with your multimeter, as everything's plugged in, you want to have your batteries plugged in, at least with a little bit of charge. If not, actually plug the TP4056 into the wall. Um, you know, plug in your, your mini USB cable to whatever. You can plug it into your computer, you know, power outlet, whatever you need. So as soon as you know you have some power running through it, and running over into the uh, the MT3608 power booster here, you're gonna wanna start measuring the output. And as you're doing this, this obviously isn't wired, so I can't really show you, but as you're doing this, you'll notice that as you adjust this little potentiometer right here, that the voltage will start to go up and down and you want to tune this thing in to 4.56 volts. That was the exact measurement that I got out of the original AAA battery cradle. So I was really just trying to replicate that. And I mean, there's really not a whole lot more to it than that. It's really these things are, are the, you know, the brains here. And it's just a matter of, <laughs> forcing them into this space, which wasn't the easiest thing in the world. Took me, uh, took me a good five or six hours to get this, this project done. But, but once you, uh, once you get this, I do plan on hot gluing 
the actual modules in here so that this isn't so much of a pressure fit. But yeah, that's, that's really all there is to it. Um, I'm going to include a link to another video, the one that actually kind of taught me that you can throw these modules into just about anything. And he goes into a lot more detail than I do here. Um, might be a better, might be better tutorial for some of you. But I just wanted to mainly show, you know, what's unique about the, the light stick here and its setup and show you guys how I was able to get this stuff fit in. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So far, this has been great. I, I did a test the other day where I left it on, I left it on Olivia's color, so it's basically a dulled white, I'm assuming, I think. It would gray, black, whatever they want to call it. But I left it running for, I think it was 28 hours I was able to get off of a single charge. So, yeah, I don't know why Blockberry just doesn't go and throw some decent batteries in this thing. But that's it. Enjoy.